Okay, <laughs> I'm out of breath. Uh, I'm out here first thing in the morning. I'm all alone on the jetty, which is highly unusual. And first, I've done three casts. Look at that beauty. Two of those. Oh, using a, using a rattle sinking. Oh, this is fantastic. Gotta go. Hey guys, Doc. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about when you know it's time to sort of sharpen your blades on your mower, whether it's a reel or a rotary. Hey so, guys, let me show you this real quick. So you can sort of see this white haze across the lawn. And when I see that white haze across my lawn, I go in closer. And here's what I'm looking for. So I'm hoping you can see this this little shredded part. So I have a solid green blade here, and then I have this brown shred. And this is happening not just once in a while, but it's happening a lot. So, let me grab one. Maybe you can see that. So I've got a solid green blade, and then I have this hanger of a shred. And I see that all over the lawn here. So what that's telling me is that I probably need to, I probably need to go ahead and cut the grass. I mean, sharpen my blades, because I'm not getting a really, really clean cut. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do a real quick back lap and uh, sharpen this up and cut it. So let me explain just a little bit more. When you see little shred hangers on your grass blades and you're using a real mower, that typically means that you need to make an adjustment to your reel to bed knife. That means that you're not getting that real clean cut off, and so you need to make an adjustment, possibly sharpen your blades. If you're using a rotary mower, what you'll typically see is more of shred, like my neighbor right now is cutting his with a riding lawn mower. You can hear it. He may he needs to sharpen his blades because when I look at it, I see this white haze, and if you look in close the next day at the blade, it'll be kind of rough cut, jagged, instead of a clean cut. Um, I typically use just an angle grinder and just give a real quick pass. That's all I do to it. So anyways, let's go forward. Okay, okay. So, oh, step number one. Get everything I need. And I'm going to share. I can't tell what this this one right here. Knock off that little clamp. <laughs> Try to remember which one it came off of. There, there. Do not lose these two. Oh, that came off easier than I expected. Sometimes you gotta battle the chain. So let's put the chain. Let's put that over there. And I have almost two free flow in here, so. The blades are not that bad. Matter of fact, it may not even be the blades, but I'm going to do a quick back lap anyways. Um, let's see here. These are my beach tools, so I don't even know what I got in here, which I wish I did. So I'm going to loosen this one. See how that changed that? Went from no contact to just a hair of contact. Backlapping compound brush. 
drill with a turning accessory. All right, I really don't have a fully charged battery, but I've actually got this locked down, man. These blades are already razor sharp. So I really don't need to sharpen them anymore. I think now that I've done them just a real quick, that was like a 60 second back lap. And man, they are just, I'm afraid to touch them. They're so sharp. So I, I decreased the, the blade to bed knife on this. McLean's are a little bit different. Um, you don't want it completely free spinning, but you don't want it grinding. You just want barely, barely, barely contact. As it heats up, you'll get more contact. Um, but that's how I do it. I just do. I'm just doing a real quick. Again, I only had to do this one. This one was already sharp. I ran it for 60 seconds, and man. So uh, I'll just rinse it off. Maybe I'll do a paper test. See how it looks. So one thing I want you to see is I want you to see this blade. If you can see just how sharp that is. I mean, it's solid silver here. And man, it is just razor sharp. So I'm good to go. Someone was talking about the problem they run into when they put the chain back on. That it's, it's too tight. And yes, that happens a lot. <laughs> so anyways the trick I have learned is try and keep this as tight as possible <clears throat> got it now if you can't get that to go in what I want you to do is just keep turning this a little bit turn this blade and keep turning it and turning it and turning it until you get a little bit of slack in here. And then you can put on. So if you have get to a point that you can't do that, just keep turning that blade until you get to a point that you've got some slack. If that doesn't work, then you're gonna have to go completely loosen all this and give yourself some slack right here in this spindle. So, let me inspect this a little bit and see what I got going on. And it looks like, see this right here? Can you see that? Let me make sure you can see that. See that blade right there? See how cleanly that's cut? Pretty much, they're all cleanly cut. I don't have those little hangers anymore. There's a hanger, but that's an old one. So I don't have any new hangers, and that's what I'm looking for. It looks pretty good. Oh, so we're dealing with possible thunderstorms right now, so let's go down. Actually, you know, the dog's here. Let's go down and take a look. But you can see, I don't see that white haze anymore on this. So let's go down there and take a look, because this is the next day. So this is when they'll show up. The next day, you'll see these brown shreds. 
And this is the exact same place that I was the other day. And you can see that everything is clean cut. Let me zoom in for you. But see how now we're clean cut like right here? All these blades are just, just cut. There's no more hangers here. And that's what I want to see. I want to see that clean cut. Now this was due, this was due to a, um, an adjustment on the bed knife, on the reel to bed knife. So basically what was happening was it just wasn't getting that. It's just like a pair of dull scissors or a scissors that are loose. You ever see that? You try and cut paper and the paper just slides out of them. It doesn't cut. That's why people use a business card or piece of paper on their reel mower to do the exact same thing. There's too much space in between the cutting blades. And when that happens, you're gonna get that shred. Now, when it comes to a rotary mower, it's just a dull blade and basically you're just knocking the grass instead of cutting it. Again, I use an angle grinder and I just run the angle grinder two or three times just over that and it's just, man, you get a real nice sharp um, blade. And uh, so that's it, looking good. Okay, <laughs> I'm out of breath. Uh, I'm out here first thing in the morning. I'm all alone on the jetty, which is highly unusual. And first, I've done three casts. Look at that beauty. Two of those. Oh, using, uh, using a raffle sinking. Oh, this is fantastic. Gotta go. Man. I have spent all morning chest deep battling waves, catching trout. Then we stopped and we moved further down the beach and we actually um, put out some rods for some sharks or whatever. I'm exhausted. So I came home, cleaned up everything and actually cleaned the fish. So here's what I've got. Now this, I'm just so excited because look at the row. So these fish had row inside of them so I'm gonna cook fry up some fish. This is just a flour and some of this um, fry mix that I just love. So, first thing I'm gonna put in here is I'm gonna put in some roe. I'm so excited. <laughs> you just, you have no idea. Oh, here we go, we're popping. This is what this thing is. Okay, I'm going to drop in some fish. Look at that, isn't that like gorgeous, gorgeous? Oh my goodness, look at that. So I got my row, got my fresh speckled trout from this morning. Awesome. Rose while I'm here, because I'm going to take this down. My son-in-law is down by the pool and we're going to share it with Oh man, so here we are again, and I'll tell you what, this grass is doing so well that I'm having to cut it almost every other day. It's just doing great, and I'm not putting a lot of fertilizer down now. Um, I'm basically still just using green shocker. 
if you guys don't have the lawn guides, and I know that I say this all the time, get the lawn guides. <laughs> you know, understand when to use PGF Complete. Understand when to use Green Chalker. Dirt Booster will be back in stock probably next week. We will be putting down Green Shocker almost every week in the summertime. I mean, Dirt Booster. Anyways, this stuff's looking great. Hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.